on Friday night. Gannon's throwing for Dundalk, now it's Ronan Finn. And Finn sends it across to Richie Tell. Stephen Marr went flying in, and Richie Tell with the shot, and Slingerman's able to parry it away. It's a decent stop by the Drogheda goalkeeper. Great feat, though, from Richie Tell, and Schlingerman keeps them out. Drogheda doing a lot of defending in the early stages and losing possession up the field. Now it's Richie Tell for Dundalk. Dane Massey. Massey to Horgan, and Horgan's ball in. And the overhead effort from David McMillan, ambitious and a long way wide from the Dundalk striker. Meenan's corner. Touch from Boyle, and that's Gartland trying the overhead, and the Dundalk player is appealing. Did that come off the hand of Alan Burr? We get a good look at it here, and it certainly appeared to strike the right hand of Alan Burr, but the referee didn't give the penalty. United having to do a lot of defensive work, they've had no joy from open play, maybe from this set piece, and a free header from Alan Byrne, and that really should have been the first goal. Shields can use the width and does out to Meenan. Gorman is the Drogheda left back, and Meenan turning him one way and then the other. The cross comes in, and the header is wide from Macmillan. Decent build up, no end product. Drogheda again losing possession easily, Massey sending that forward, now it's Macmillan. Plenty of options inside, Massey looping back around and Massey sends it across to Tell and he's buried it into the back of the net. Three minutes to go and that surely is the winner for Dundalk, Richie Tell with his fourth goal in his last three games and that surely is that. Well, Tell getting a yellow card for taking the corner flag out of it and that is why they are champions. We were disappointed to concede the, the late goal in Limerick last week. That was a sort of kick in the teeth, but uh, we bounced back in the right way. It's the only goal we've conceded this season, and we bounced back in the right way uh, by getting the three points tonight. And, and again, that we had to be patient and believe in ourselves and keep going. The fitness levels, happy with the organisation, happy with just a little lack at the end, a little bit of concentration at the end. So we're that much away now. So we need to just close that gap and start pushing on. Yeah, a bit of a frustrating night really for Johnny McDonald, the uh, draw the United team, holding out for as long as possible, conceding two minutes before uh, the 90th minute. Uh, Sue, at the end of the season for Dundalk, the 1-0 victories are going to be as important as the 3-0 or 4 nils, you know, and, you know, they secure it there at the end and that shows how persistent they are, doesn't it? They, yeah, absolutely, and they won that, ge that game late with a late goal, um, but that's what champions do, they never give up. Um, and I think uh, Drada got caught in possession up the field, uh, the ball was won by Jane Massey and played a, a good through pass to Dave McMillan, went on the overlap then, um, got the return pass and put in a good cross, and Richie Towell, as he did so often last year, was on the end of it, but I think it was a very good run there by Mountney to take players out and leave the space for Towell behind them. But, as I said, that's what champions do. Yeah, really well worked goal, Brian. And I know on the night for Drogheda, they would have been aware uh, of the difficulty they were going to face against the league leaders. Uh, what do you think are the issues that draw it at the moment? Because they're on a pretty poor run right now. Well, John McDonald's working a very tight budget there. He lost some experienced players before uh, Drogheda made the appointment. So, some of the uh, some of the key players from last season had already gone. So it's quite a new team and a young team. And he, during the game, he lost uh, Alan Bourne, his key centre half. Was a question whether it was a penalty. I didn't think it was a penalty at all. The match. Dal Cavan's been doing a great job for them up front. But I think the new going to Dundalk with with the form Dundalk have been showing at home, successive three victories all around the place barred yeah. points up in Limerick that was going to be very tough and from what we, we, we saw there from what I heard around the place Drogheda played well in the night in, in, in being structured well defending well but as John said you just lost that little bit of concentration late in the game and lack of experience let them down the left back position and they got done but a big improvement from losing 7-0 in Dundalk last year which was embarrassing for them yeah, it certainly was. And Dave, uh, draw to have a stiff test next time out because next visitors are Cork City. Well, yeah, but, you know, you'd look at uh, Dundalk going down to Limerick. You know, you, you never know in this league. If, you, if your mind is not on it, like Dundalk went down, uh, they went one up and they, they thought they have a stroll in the park until the end of the game. And then uh, Limerick come up and, and get the equaliser. So yeah. you can hear Stephen Kenny, that kind of, that rattles the team. And, you know, going back in the bus, they'd have been very, very disappointed. But 
You haven't said that. If, if you look at Dundalk, like, you know, they're going to be there at the end of the season. It's who can stay with them, really, the way they're, they're playing at the moment. But you have to say, there was five players in the box there. At the end of a game, they just pour people forward. That's not, you know, that doesn't happen by fluke. You get bodies yeah. in the box. And Richie told again, another, another goal from a midfielder, which, which is vital for them. Yeah, another very valuable three points for the league leaders, Dundalk. But of course, next weekend, they have a very